Aries, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is for the sign of Aries. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aries placement that is relevant to you, there may be messages that also resonate. Personal reading information, anything seen will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for January, but time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to the reading is usually when it's meant to be heard. Ooh, first card out, Ten of Cups. How nice. Also could represent some sort of ending, but what else do we have for Aries, please? Messages for their greatest and highest good. What do they need to know? Aries. What do we have for Aries? Ten of Cups. Give me more. What can I what what does Aries need to know? Let's see what's going on. Okay, a little blob flipped out here. Eight of Pentacles, your second card out. The Five of Cups. The Ten of Wands. Two tens here. Five of Pentacles, two tens and two fives. Angel numbers could be seeing those. One more card for Aries, please. What do you have for Aries? So heavy on the change energy and heavy on the it's over energy. Okay, so this could be someone else's energy. By the look of it, I am seeing a lot of masculine energy already. You could identify as masculine energy. We all have both, obviously. Or if you didn't know that, we all have both. So this could be you, this could be someone else that you are connected to, someone that is still in your energy. Looks like someone that things have already ended with. Six of Cups, your last card out. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo could be relevant, but I do think this is you. Could have Earth in your chart. You are very focused on yourself. You are very much minding your own business, minding the business that pays you, right? Only putting your energy into things that are going to nurture you back. We're not wasting this this uh, sacred currency over here. Queen of Pentacles knows her worth, knows her value, knows how to cultivate just about anything. Give it to the Queen of Pentacles and it's going to grow. You understand me? Okay. So with these two tens here in your past position, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands, something has definitely ended. No doubt. Absolutely. Period. Something that seemed to have been happy at one point. Looks like it's no longer happy. It's now become a burden. It's now become heavy. It's now become too much for one to bear. It's like at, in the beginning, everyone was chipping in, helping out, singing songs. And by the end of it, it was one person doing all the work. Right? The Ten of Wands is my you're doing too much card. Doing way too much. One person should not be responsible for catching wood for the entire village. Okay? So that's over. That's done with. Like... Double confirmation, it's done. So whether you're wondering if it's done, this could be someone else that's wondering if it's really done with you. It's done. It should be done. It's actually expired. Because actually nines are ending, tens like, bitch, you should have threw that shit out two months ago. It's it's way past ending. You're, you're just holding on for dear life now. You're holding on by threads. Okay? The eight of pentacles and the five of pentacles in your present position, someone could be very focused on work because there's some sort of lack here someone is feeling lack lack of money could be absolutely one of the things maybe this such this separation or this ending has put a bit of a bit of pressure on someone's pockets so they're very much focused on work focus on you know day in day out picking up extra hours all that kind of stuff this is also giving me a vibe that if something has ended between you and someone, whether it's a friend, a family member, love interest, it will be different for all of you. Love love relationships are not the only type of relationships that we have, okay? There's a lack mentality here. Someone is missing, you know, it's like a, it's like they drown their self in work to forget about this because there's a sense of loneliness that someone is experiencing here because this situation has ended. Five of Pentacles is very much loneliness, even though there's multiple people in the card, that's why it's all about mentality. How could you be alone and there's someone there with you, in the cold with you, right? So there is a lack that someone has experiences. You could be uh, dealing with someone that has a lack mentality or you could have the lack mentality, always looking for the negative. 
you know, kind of giving me codependency vibes a little bit. But someone is drowning themselves in work in order to sort of detach from this lonely feeling. They can't get out their mind, though. Could be while they're at work as well that they're reminded of things. The Five of Pentacles, I mean, the Five of Cups, Six of Cups in your future energy. So this is more reiteration that someone is just stuck in their feelings, in the memories. Five of Pentacles is your second five. I mean, Five of Cups, sorry. Five of Cups is your second five. This is the coulda, woulda, shoulda card. This is the regret card. If I had known, I would have done different. If I could go back and do this, I would do this. Well, you can't. First of all, you can't go back. It is what it is. What's done is done. It's time to move forward. It's time to change perspective here. Yeah, these cups are, you know, wasted, which nothing is wasted. They're just not viable. But there's two per perfectly good cups that you can drink from and replenish yourself with if you just choose to change your perspective. Instead of looking at things like negative Nancy, you know, put a little look at things for the for the brighter side, because whatever this is, it had to end. I don't think there was any save in it. I don't think anything you could have done differently could have could have saved the outcome of this. It was a lesson here that was supposed to be learned, a lesson around lack. This is why you have the two fives of change, two fives and two tens. Whoever it is that you're dealing with has a lack mentality. It had nothing to do with you. They had this mentality way before you met them. You just sort of triggered it. Or this could be you. You know, if you're missing somebody, it really has nothing to do with who you're missing. It's the wound of lack that needs to be healed within yourself. And then you'll be able to see things in another perspective. You'll be able to see that this wasn't a loss. It was a learning experience and that this was probably not meant to last. So you can't cry over spilt milk. It's already spilled unless you try and suck it up with a straw. But there is a sense of nostalgia that's going on here. Somebody that is thinking of the good old days, how things used to be, when things were good, wanted to go back to the good times. Don't know what's going to happen, though. But that is the vibe. And I kind of get you're just kind of on this outside here, very much focused on yourself. Maybe kind of not even... Not even, you know, you're avoiding it. You're not you're not wanting to deal with someone, whoever this is. You're focused on yourself, you turned your back to the situation, and you're not you're not you're not really wanting to deal with them and their issues. Right? Not wanting to deal with it. Not wanting to open up to the situation, not wanting to deal with it. I do see the Ace of Pentacles underneath here, which is a new opportunity. Some of you could be focused on a new job, a new, you know, workout regimen. Lots of Pentacles here. Lots of Cups as well. And the Emperor. Yeah, some of you could be work focused. Some of you got a new job. Some of you have bossed up. So you really don't have time to be focused on this lack person, this Debbie Downer. This person that looks like they kind of drain the life out of you. They were, at least at one point, a very draining person here. Looks like there could be some communication that might be coming in. Somebody might want to have a conversation. I am seeing the Eight of Wands underneath the Emperor card. But I see a promotion for some of you as well, if that is something you have been interested in or wanting. Some of you are leveling up, so you really don't have time to be focused on anybody that's not trying to help themselves, right? What is the guidance for, Sagittarius? for Aries? That's you there. Yeah. Focus on self. Aries is the house of self. So two confirmations here. If you're not focused on yourself yet, this is heavy screaming, heavily screaming. It's time to focus on yourself. Stop worrying about what this other person's doing. It's time to release this burden because it's keeping you way down. It's like a, a rocker on your foot and, and you're in the ocean. It needs to be released. Everything happened as it should have happened. For some of you, this is a new position, a new a new job, a pay raise. You know, getting promoted to like supervisor or something. Trust in the magic number 66. So you now have three sixes. You have two tens, two fives, three sixes. Trust in the magic. This is saying that everything that has happened is happening the way it's supposed to. In order for you to get to where you need to be and want to be, whatever it is you're manifesting, this was not meant to be with you. And I think you know that. I do think you know that. It's someone I do think that is clinging in your energy, that's still in your energy. 
So maybe some energy healing, uh, clearing could be beneficial. Cord cutting sort of ceremony, cord cutting ritual, whatever, whatever appeals to you. Some saging even. Some, uh, you know, a cleansing bath. Declare that you release this person and that all energies attached to them. You rebuke, act not rebuke, you revoke access. Because I think you're trying to move forward. You really don't want to deal with this person anymore. And this person is very much still just like marinating on it, on you. If you were able to believe in Santa and the Tooth Fairy, you can definitely believe in yourself. So I think you've learned the lesson here. Whatever lesson that was supposed to be learned from this situation, through this lack mentality sort of Debbie Downer person, you've learned it. You've learned that it really is mind over matter. And being around people that kind of steers your mentality to a negative place is not where you need to be. If you have any fighting chance in achieving anything you want to achieve, that's not where you need to be. So that you switch the focus back to yourself. And because of that, there's, there's rewards coming in. Some sort of new job, some sort of money intake. Some of you are becoming bosses, bossing up. Or some of you could be just meeting someone new. This is sort of, uh, sort of romantic situation. They, you know, meeting someone new that is absolutely qualified. Okay, someone that is very qualified with that emperor energy. What do we have for Aries? Ooh, life is a mystery. All this like magic mystery sort of energy. You also have an eight here. You have trust in the magic. Life is a mystery. Oh, I did two cards in it. And look at this. You got a unicorn at the bottom of this one. So there is something very magical about to happen for you. And I think it's only because that there's certain people, energies that are no longer in your life. You know, no longer blocking your magic with their sort of dark cloud energy. What do we have for Aries? One card for Aries. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. I do think this is self-love. And I do think you are recognizing that the focus needs to be you. No matter what you do, people people have a right to choose if they want to be happy, create happiness, or stay miserable. Sit in pity. You're choosing something different for yourself. And that is going to bring you to where you really need to be, who you really need to be, which is authentically you. Aries, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. Let me know if you like the new set. See you guys next week.